Hello everyone. Welcome to a technical course design tutorial within PGA Tour 2K21. Hi, my name is Erickson Stone. You can see me at my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Erickson Stone. And I'm here to go over some of the design settings. When you start a new course, we'll go over all the things that you need to know to get started. So what I'm going to do i start a new course and bring that up. And initially when you come in, you'll have some options. You can name your course. I'll go ahead and name this uh, New Ericsson Course. Okay. And you'll have some theme options you can choose. Uh, I'll have to dedicate a video to this in the future. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave the theme that we have now. Then we have the terrain menu. And in the terrain menu, we've got some options here. The water level is going to show or going to determine how much water is on the course. Raise that, you can see that the puddles get larger. Uh, if I increase the hills, you'll see the hills get larger. Trees, I'll add more trees. Plants is going to determine the actual plants on the ground. Uh, grasses are going to, to uh, increase or decrease the number of grasses that are auto-generated. And rocks, same thing. And I'll apply. And you can see how the water expanded here. You can see that. If I go and just reduce the water all the way down, apply, you can see that there's no water on the course. If I go and change the hills, you can see that the hills will decrease. It's not going to be too apparent here, but you can see that the land is sort of flattened out. I've got some more puddling also. Uh, trees, uh, we'll go ahead and change the tree slider and that'll eliminate the trees from the plot. Same thing with plants, grasses, rocks, so go ahead and remove all those, hit apply. Generally when I like to start some designers you can just bump up the hills uh, as much as you want and the number of trees as much as you want. I like those. Everything else you really want to turn down and I'll get to uh, starting a new plot in another future video but just for now just know that zero water uh, hills you uh, zero water zero plants zero grass zero rocks uh, trees and hills are to your liking uh, is how we want to start this okay, so you click apply and you can see that I've got some hills I've got a whole bunch of trees and we leave okay. layout uh, this is important the number of holes that are going to be generated automatically by the designer. Uh, you can pick any number you want. If you pick 18 holes, uh, then just ask for the number of par 3s and par 5s. Uh, set the widths of your fairways and apply. So I'm going to go ahead and create an 18-hole course. Uh, you can see how it's auto-generated. Uh, they came in. Some of them are off the screen in this view, but go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go the fairway width. I'll change the fairway width. I'll shrink it to oh, actually make it bigger, uh, make that 100, and you can see that the fairways, they get super wide. Right? If I reduce them and apply, I get narrower fairways. Uh, if I make them really narrow here, uh, I can do that. See how they get really, really, really razor thin. Uh, uh, same thing, fairway bunkers, just going to determine the number of bunkers that are next to the fairway. Uh, if I turn them all the way down, the fairway bunkers will disappear. Uh, same thing with the green side bunkers, turn them away, and bunkers that are near the green will disappear. Okay, so those are these settings here, this is what they do. Green size changes the size of the auto generated greens. Uh, if I make them 100, they become really huge. You can see the changes in the green sizes there. Um, and for what we want to do, uh, we want all of these to actually be zero because we will be creating them on our own from scratch. Uh, same thing, uh, I prefer to make the number of holes zero. Uh, and again, we'll be creating the entire plot from scratch. So this is the right settings for this. Okay. You click apply and all the holes disappear, including the clubhouse. Clubhouse also disappears. Click apply and we go, and then we can go ahead uh, and then we can continue. Uh, and what's really important is if we hit the profile menu, that's, I have a dual shock, so it's the options button, and go to 
settings and go to the course designer settings. This is going to control a few things by default. Uh, so we want our default hole count to be zero. Uh, so we, whenever we create a new course, uh, no holes will get generated. Uh, the controller, you can change this between your connected controller and the mouse and keyboard. So if you prefer to use the mouse and keyboard and keyboard controls, you can change that here. When you do that, these two settings apply mouse zoom and mouse rotation. Uh, what this affects the zooms is how much the uh, mouse wheel controls the zoom in and out. And mouse rotation uh, determines how much the course or the plot will spin or the camera will move when you right click on the screen and drag. Camera inversion, uh, I have it set to default, which means down lowers the camera, up raises the camera, left moves the camera left, right moves the camera right. Uh, you can invert one way or both, but I tend to leave defer default, but your mileage may vary there. Okay. Those are important settings that you want to keep. Now, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this course, and then we'll talk about some of the other settings that are available uh, to you and explain what they do on a course that already exists. I'm going to come back in here and I'll open up an unpublished uh, course. So what I've done is I brought in my La Playa Vacia course uh, and this course by default or current setting the sun is behind the sixth hole. I've got a clear day. I've got some high clouds. And I'll create a another video separate from this one to go over the lighting and effects and the weather uh, they require really a deep dive in and their own uh, video but when it comes to setting we've got terrain settings these are going to be the same settings that we had but once you modify the terrain on your own the water level and hills are not going to have any effect on your plot um, and the reason for that is because the set default terrain, when you modify terrain, you are overwriting uh, what the computer will generate. Trees, you can trees in and out. Plants, grass, and rocks always leave as none. I'll, I put them in manually. Uh, course settings, and this is where uh, things get important. Uh, we'll always work backwards, uh, and we'll start with the green. Green, I always set the green size to zero. You know, that uh, slope here is something that you will not need to worry about. You will create your own greens. Uh, texture is going to change the actual color and texture of the green surface. So go ahead and maybe get a little brighter. There we go. Just like that. Uh, Mo pattern is going to change the lines within your green. And it's important to note that different themes have different mo patterns. You can see that uh, this theme that I'm working in, which is tropical, has a checkerboard pattern here. And I'll go ahead and make this mo intensity much darker so you can see it. You can see that it's got this gingham checkerboard type pattern here. And if I decrease this, it'll make it make it all wider. It's super wide. It almost has the effect of having none. But I can do something like that. So this just says gives you an idea of the number of uh, lines in it. And the boldness will change how visible it is. You can see it start to fade away. Uh, and if you turn it all the way down, then it's not in see the mo pattern at all. Green firmness, this will determine how much the ball bounces, how much speed it loses when the ball lands. Uh, green speed will determine how quickly the ball will stop when it's rolling. This will affect the speed of putts. Green firmness will not. Uh, so green speed here, uh, I have it at 7.1, but this ranges from 4.5 to 8.5. 8.5 is the fastest, 4.5 is the slowest. In terms of putt speed or putt distance, uh, the lowest rate, the lowest uh, or the lowest bound 
is 101 feet, maximum putter distance, and the highest bound is 187 feet. Right in the middle here, 6.5 is 144 feet. Uh, fringe width is going to change the amount or the width of the green fringe right here. You can see how it grows and actually can be eliminated. It says a half, but it actually is eliminated. Uh, we're going to leave the green bunkers as none, and flag texture is going to change the look of the flags. That's all it does. So those are your green settings. Uh, let's go to fairway settings. Fairway width, again, we want to leave this at zero. Uh, texture, again, just like greens, is going to just change the look and feel. The color of it, make it a little yellowy, brown, uh, whatever you want to do here. Uh, mo pattern, same thing. Uh, mo intensity, just change the way that looks. You can see it as I lower and raise the bar. You can see the mo pattern getting bolder. Uh, wide, narrow. You can see it get more or less stripes. Uh, fairway firmness, just like green firmness. This will change the way the ball bounces and how much speed it loses when it bounces. Roll is how quickly it'll stop once it starts to roll. Uh, fairway start, we don't really use this because we're not letting the game auto-generate any fairways. Same thing with fairway end, so you don't need to worry about those. Or the fairway edge, uh, these are control auto-generated um, fairways, so these settings we do not change these forms. Fairway start, end, edge, and fairway bunkers. Okay, rough settings. Uh, you've got the rough settings are both the... Um, light rough and the heavy rough, or rough and heavy rough. What's really important here is the rough width and the heavy rough width are not something that you can change in the layout menu. So you, for every course that you start, you have to come into this menu here in the settings, go to rough settings, and you want to change the rough width all the way down to zero. Same thing with the heavy rough width. change that down to zero because you're going to build your own heavy rough and rough. Uh, rough texture is going to change this little stripe here. So I'll go ahead and make that brown. You can see what that changed. And heavy rough texture is going to change the all of the un all these areas all up here. Uh, again, heavy rough firmness and heavy rough roll, rough firmness and rough roll, uh, they have minimal impact, but they do have some impact on how the ball bounces and rolls in the rough and in the heavy rough. For settings, also bunker settings. Uh, again, you'll have your texture, your firmness, and bunk bunker roll. Uh, so you can just give us a, a more orangey look or a brown look. This is, you know, is going to change the look and feel of your course just a little bit. Okay, well that's the end of the settings tutorial. Hope the information was useful, everyone. Remember, you can check me out at Twitch TV slash Erickson Stone. Thank you, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more content just like this, then click the subscribe button below. Till next time, happy designing!